everyone, welcome to another Zen Fee tutorial. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be going over how you can extract fields from a PDF that is sent via email, specifically for orders. This is great if you have some sort of business that receives their orders via email and you need to add everything to a Google Sheet to be able to keep a roster of everything. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step to any Zenfi flow is to set up your trigger, which in Zenfi is the action that initiates your flow. There's different triggers that you can choose from, whether it be a Google Form submission, adding a file to a Google Drive, or in this case, receiving an email to your inbox. You can do all of that with Zenfi. So we're going to select on the Gmail trigger, which is going to start the flow whenever a new email arrives. Now to be able to do this, we have to set up a connection to Zenfi, which is going to grant permission to be able to access your inbox. So we're going to click on the plus icon to create a new connection, which can be private or shared. And after you click on authorize, you'll be able to see your email here. Now we're going to have a series of actions or steps that are going to make up our entire process. So the first one that we're going to use is going to help us extract the file since there's different attributes that come with the attachments. Maybe there's more than one attachment. So to be able to do that, what we're going to do is use a query collection action. We're going to select the token picker and we're going to be able to open up the information from our trigger. Now what the token picker does is it allows us to insert data from previous steps. So in this case, we can access all of the information from the trigger. So if we scroll down at the bottom, we're able to select the attachments and there's different information that you can see inside of the attachment. So in this case, we're going to select the collection and here we're going to want to select the first item. That way we only extract one file. This would be done if there's only one attachment for all of your orders. However, if you usually receive more than one order via PDF, I'll show you towards the end how you can modify the flow to be able to cater to that. Now Zenfi does have the option to be able to create custom AI models, whether it be to process a form, an invoice, you can parse receipts, or we have a very powerful document OCR tool, which is the one that we're going to be using for this example. I will have a playlist in the description with more videos on how to use our AI models and Zenfi. So once you create your AI model, all you have to do is select the fields that you want to be able to extract. So here we have this order. We're going to be extracting the order number, order date, the purchaser name, etc. So once we have that, we have to make sure that it's published. And using the action called run AI model, we're going to find our model in the drop down menu. And then what we're going to do is select the token picker once again, and we're going to select the file contents of the attachment. And then what we want to do is make sure we add everything to the Google Sheet. So we have a roster of all of the sales and orders. And here I have created this template. So what I'm going to do is just create a header for each one of the fields that I want to extract. And then to be able to add them, I'm going to use the add row action. So all you have to do is set up a connection to your Google Drive. In the same way we did with the email, here where it says file ID, we're going to want to select the Google Sheet. So if you click on the Google Drive icon, you can select the Google Sheet from your drive. Simply click on select. And then here where it says sheet name, we have to select the name of the sheet. You can either select from the drop down or you can write it manually. Since our Google Sheet does have headers, we're going to enable this option and load the headers. And then all we have to do is manually select which value belongs to which column. So if we click on the token picker and go to our previous action, we have all of these fields here. You also have the confidence score if you wish to add that information somewhere. So all you have to do is, for example, here where it says order number, here we would select order number, for order date, we would select order date, and so on. And then all we have to do is test run. So we're going to select an email. We're going to go ahead and run. And as you can see, it has gone through all the different steps and it has added the row as well. So now if you want to do it for more than one attachment in a single email, what you would do is we would delete this action. And then what we would do is add a for each action. We're going to put everything inside of the for each loop. And then here where it says collection, we're going to select the attachments once again from the trigger. So down at the bottom. So now this would be for each attachment. And then here what we would do is change this file to this one right here. And just like that, you have changed it. So now even if you receive more than one order via PDF in the same email, it'll process each one of them individually and then add them all one by one. 
Just like that, we were able to make changes in seconds to be able to account for more than one PDF inside of your email. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments section and make sure to sign up for a free demo meeting. If you're looking to sign up for Zenfi, there you can learn more and we can even help build your first process. You'll find a link to do so in the description. Thank you so much for watching.